Welcome back everyone. Here at Smart Finance, we're all about finding excess returns in the market and growing our wealth. Since time is money, I'll get right into it. Today is the first part in a series of videos I'll be making on ARK Invest's 2021 Big Ideas research. The Big Ideas project aims to find industries poised for massive growth in the future through innovative technologies. For this series, I'll be going over the main topics from Big Ideas and then circle that back to some companies that I've found that you can invest in if you want exposure to the space. There's a lot of great info here, so I'm going to be breaking the presentation into a series of videos for you guys. The first video of the series is going to be on AI deep learning. I'll dive into the topic and then provide some companies poised to capitalize on the industry that you can invest in right now. Make sure to drop an early like to help with the algorithm. Let's dive right in. Disruptive innovation is the core of Kathy Wood's ARK Invest, and it's been paying off, with ARK's assets under management increasing tenfold through 2020, as the company racked up massive 170% returns. ARK have been publishing big ideas for innovation since 2017. From this year's presentation, the first technology we'll be talking about is deep learning. Deep learning occurs when software is programmed by artificial intelligence. This is groundbreaking and has potential to radically change technology as we know it in the coming years as it scales up. ARK projects that deep learning will add 30 trillion to equity markets in the next two decades, and we're already seeing examples of deep learning picking up today, such as with smart speakers like Alexa and Google Home, and autonomous advances in the self-driving car industry seen with some of Tesla's technologies. I'm going to bring in a clip of Kathy Wood from the Big Ideas presentation to emphasize their position on deep learning technology. Here is the first one. Deep learning uh, could create more economic value than the internet did. So I want to illustrate a few things here. Uh, the reason deep learning has happened is because uh, we've taken the human programmer out of the equation. Uh, we've got uh, data training um, machines, and uh, we've got da big data, uh, iterative algorithms, supercomputing power. Uh, and uh, the, the power has reached a point uh, where now the machines are training themselves. Um, human beings cannot possibly conceive of all the possible permutations out there when they're saying, uh, when they're trying to program, let's say, an autonomous vehicle. It's not possible. Uh, but machines can train themselves, and deep learning is, is the way to do that. Um, what's interesting about deep learning is training costs, like for autonomous vehicles or autonomous taxi networks, or for Alexa, or for TikTok, uh, those training costs are dropping 37% per year. And the models, the artificial intelligent models built around deep learning are growing uh, tenfold per year. So the computing power that we're going to need in the years ahead is enormous. Uh, so we think that the market will, um, will scale to $30 trillion in opportunity in the AI space from $2 trillion now. That works out to a 17% CAGR, or compound annual rate of return. You look at the green uh, part of the bars, that's, that's the internet. And uh, you can see um, it, it will go, it will increase from $13 trillion to $20 trillion, but AI is going to be uh, taking over in terms of growth trajectories. In fact, uh, by the time 2037, uh, the internet will be very mature and the growth rate from $13 trillion to $20 trillion over that 17-year period actually equates to only 3%. Uh, so the, the real growth is in deep learning, and it is the next big wave. Clearly, Kathy is extremely bullish on this industry, emphasizing that it will be bigger than the internet. And she makes some great points. Big data will only get bigger, supercomputers will only get more powerful, and technology will only get more complicated. Humans will simply not be able to complete the tasks that an artificial intelligence system will be able to. Not to mention the costs associated with human versus AI workloads. And remember from my videos on Nokia, 5G and Internet of Things will partially run on AI so that systems can operate without human intervention. Considering all of this, perhaps the boldest estimate she makes is that deep learning could create more economic value than the Internet did. So how can we as investors capitalize on this industry growth? Well, I'm going to list some companies that will be poised for massive growth as deep learning comes to the forefront. We're only at the beginning of what Cathy refers to as this, quote, next big wave. Getting in early on these companies may lead to massive returns as deep learning explodes in the next decades. 
Starting off, I've got an obvious one. Google. Google is arguably the largest and most important AI company in the world today, and hence that positioned for the most growth. Google has been acquiring a variety of companies in the AI space to expand their reach. The most significant purchase of theirs was the $600 million deal for DeepMind, an artificial intelligence system that played the board game Go. There's a really interesting documentary called AlphaGo that I'll link, where DeepMind and its Go success is explained. On top of this, there's Google's free machine system, TensorFlow, and the ongoing Tensor AI chip project for machine learning on the device. And I can't talk about Google without mentioning Google Home. The integration with its other Google systems makes it a standout smart speaker. One only needs to compare it to Siri to see the difference today. These smart speakers will only get more powerful through deep learning. Think Jarvis from Iron Man. It's actually possible in the next decade. And the growth here is massive, with smart speakers answering 100 billion voice commands in 2020, which was 75% more than in 2019. And Google CEO Sundar Pichai has been said, saying that in the long run, Google is evolving from, quote, a mobile first to an AI first company. Deep learning will also create a boom for AI chips. ARK Invest estimates that data center spending on AI processors will scale more than fourfold during the next five years, from 5 billion a year today to 22 billion in 2025. This expansion is only expected to increase more as deep learning explodes into the 2030s. The Big Ideas report states, quote, 2020 was the breakthrough year for conversational AI. For the first time, AI systems could understand and generate language with human-like accuracy. Conversational AI requires 10 times the computer resources of computer vision and should spur large investments in the coming years. On top of this, self-driving cars need chips, and a lot of them as well. These chips are not cheap, and the chip makers are going to squeeze every bit of profit out of this growth as they can. Consequently, companies well positioned in the chip space will have massive demand for AI chips in the coming years. NVIDIA and Taiwan Semiconductor Company are my two picks for chip companies to take advantage of this growth. First, NVIDIA has been a long established leader in AI. NVIDIA's graphic processors are the be-all and end-all for machine learning and artificial intelligence. The company is active in a variety of industries, including healthcare, higher education, retail, and robotics. Beyond this, NVIDIA is also deeply integrated with a variety of companies specializing in autonomous driving. On the other hand, Taiwan Semiconductor Company will also benefit greatly from deep learning growth as the world's largest chip producer, holding 50% of chip production market cap. There are already shortages in chip markets, and this will only increase as demand continues to rise, leading to higher profits for foundry companies like Taiwan Semiconductor. The company has been investing a massive 50% of its revenue into capital expenditure for new factories and production, so that it maintains and grows its market share throughout the next decade. And its next most competitor, Samsung, only has 17% market share. So Taiwan Semiconductor is clearly set to dominate for the next decade and reap the rewards of the deep learning chip boom. The last company I'll mention is Twilio. This software business makes cloud-based application programming interfaces, better known as APIs, that allow developers to build voice, video, and messaging features into their apps. This is a widely popular and fast-growing service, integrated with companies such as TikTok. I would say this is the company I have mentioned with the highest risk slash reward return ratio. It will have higher volatility than the other companies, but it has amazing upside potential. In particular, analysts expect profits to advance by more than 20% annually over the next five years, and this is only expected to increase by more once deep learning becomes more of a mainstay in the industry. To conclude, Kathy Wood and ARK Invest have noted deep learning as the most significant technological advancement to come along in decades, meaning massive growth potential going forward. I believe the four stocks noted earlier, Google, Nvidia, Taiwan Semiconductor and Twilio are expertly positioned to capitalize on this growth from a variety of angles, whether as a service provider like Google or Twilio, or as chip producers like Nvidia and Taiwan Semiconductor. With the massive coming boom of deep learning, these stocks are set to take off and have massive potential. This is only the first part in the ARK Invest series of videos I'll be doing on their Big Ideas presentation, where I'll be covering all of the innovative industries and the stocks that will capitalize on the industry growth related to them. The aim of this channel is to find stocks that have great potential and provide concise analysis for you guys who don't have the time to go and do all the research and find these stocks by yourself. So if you're interested in keeping your finger on the pulse and finding out about these companies before everyone else, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. Remember, this video is for entertainment purposes and not personalized investment advice. You should consider your own unique financial position and do your own due diligence before making any investments. See you next time.